guys, it is Silent Nine, and today I'm going to show you guys how to do this brand new, fully on top of map glitch, plus a boss fight glitch in Call of Duty, World War II on the Shadow Throne. This is very, very insane, and something you don't want to miss, so make sure to watch till the end, because I'll go fully in depth. So as you guys can see, I'm on top of the boss fight arena right here, you guys can easily get the boss done with this glitch. But anyways, let's get right to the founders. Now the founders are Craig's Fearless 14 k and I, so if you do make a video, that'd be awesome if you can put us in the description of the video, or give us a shout out in the video. Because that's what it for that, and let's get right into this glitch. So the first thing you want to do is make sure that at least one person out of your group has a frag grenade, and that one person with a frag grenade will be left behind and will not do the glitch. So just make sure you have that. You can fit up to three people in this glitch, but one person has to be left out, which isn't that big of a deal because if you look at it, one person has to be left out to actually start the boss fight. So as you guys can see, this is the setup that I recommend you guys to bring. There's that frag grenade, and I recommend mobilization just to explore a round and survival list so you guys can get armor and fully reloaded so you guys don't have to use too many max ammos. And then after you guys get all that set up, you guys are all good to start the game. I recommend other three players to bring shell shock just to make the boss fight easier. So once you guys are in the game, you guys want to go and complete the easter egg and go all the way up to where you guys go into the pod and fill it up. So don't fill it up just yet, just go to that point. And I do have a video on how to actually skip the easter egg, so if you want to know how to do that to make this glitch a whole lot faster to get to, definitely make sure to go in the description below and check it out because it's an epic glitch. So when you guys get to this step in the easter egg, you guys want everybody to go into the pod. And what you guys want to do is make sure that you have full ammo in your wonder bus and make sure that you have a grenade if you're going to get down and all that. So make sure you have that. So what you guys want to do is, as you guys can see, Craig's is going to go into the pod and you guys want to aim up and shoot the pod. And you guys want to count to six seconds. And once you guys get to six seconds, you guys want to let go of the actual wonder bus. So I'm going to be doing this right now. As you can see, 1 Mississippi, 2 Mississippi, 3 Mississippi, 4 Mississippi, 5 Mississippi, 6 Mississippi. As you can see, we let go. And after that, Craig is going to be holding a grenade. And what you guys want to do is simply just revive the player that's down. And you guys should just go on top of the pod. And after that, you guys are all good. And you guys are just ready to go into the next step. So this next step is going to be filling your wonder bus. The best way to fill your wonder bus if you're on top of the pod is to just turn around and go to the back of the pod. Then just aim exactly where I do and all the zombies will pile up right there and you guys can easily just fill it up with the L2 attack. So just make sure to do that. And the person on the ground can just fill it up by just heavy meleeing or using the L2 attack or activating a max ammo. Definitely I recommend doing the other two not activating the max ammo because you want to save the max ammo for the boss fight. So as you guys can see, I'm filling up right there and I pretty much have it ready. And I'm ready to go and get to this glitch. So I'm going to show you guys how to get fully on top of the map first. Then I'm going to show you guys how to do the boss fight glitch second. So in order to get fully on top of the map, what you guys want to do is come all the way over here and go prone to actually be able to fill up the pod. Because if you stand up and shoot it, it will not work. You have to go prone like so. Then after that, you guys want to shoot it. Then once you guys get to about this height, you guys can pick the height. I recommend you guys to count to 6 seconds like you did before. And then after that, you guys just want to simply just jump off. So again, just go prone, fill it up with your team, and then jump up, and you guys will be on top of the map. And you guys can literally get to anywhere that you'd like on this map, including on top of the theater, museum, and church. So have fun, explore it before they patch it. Which actually, I highly doubt they'll patch it because they haven't patched anything else. But just make sure to explore it because it's a fun glitch. So that's about it for that fully on top of map, and let's get right into the boss fight part of this glitch. So what you guys want to do is the same exact thing as the beginning. Make sure to count to 6 seconds and just get on top of the pod. And once you guys are on top of the pod, you guys are all good to do it. Definitely not too hard to get on top of the pod. Just do what I said before in the beginning of the video. So as you guys can see, I am on top of the pod. You guys want to shoot it just like so and you guys want to count. Now you guys want to count to 8 seconds this time. So go 1 Mississippi, 2 Mississippi, so on and so forth to 8 seconds. Then once you guys do that, you guys want to stand up and spam the jump button. And if you guys do this correctly, you guys should not land actually in the boss fight area. You should be outside of it. Now, depending where you stand, you can go to different locations. If you stand in the back of the pod and do this, then you will teleport right on the bars in the back of the pod, kind of below the map. And if you guys go on the left side or the right side, you should spawn where I am right there, kind of on top of it. I recommend you guys to go on the left side and right side of the pod. That's the best thing to do. And as you guys can see, 
Once you're on top of here, you guys are on top of the map. There's a bunch of locations for you guys to explore. And when you guys are exploring, just keep this in mind. Make sure to shoot to the ground that you're going to jump on top of because some of the stuff in this boss arena is fake. And if you shoot and you don't see your bolts actually hit the thing that you're shooting, then it's fake. And you guys do not want to jump to it. But if you guys see your bolts actually hit the ground, then you guys can actually jump on top of it and you guys should not fall through. You guys can also throw grenades to test and if you see your grenade bounce, then you can land on it. But if you don't see a bounce, then you can't. Here is a great example all the way over here. I'm going to be showing you guys soon. You see these bars on my left? The bars are real, but the actual ground is fake. So make sure to keep that in mind. Because if you do mess up and fall, you can either die out fully, which that won't mess up your actual like boss fight. But you can also miss a death barrier. And if you miss a death barrier and keep on falling through the map, then you will not be able to die and it will mess up the whole entire game. So make sure to be careful. As you guys can see, I was getting on top of the bars. And when you guys are there, make sure to not actually land on top of the ground. Because you will mess up. And you guys can just go up here, you guys can get on top of the map. And this is a really, really cool glitch and can really help with the boss fight when you know where to jump. But anyways, that's about it for this glitch. Definitely insane and something that I really recommend you guys to check out. But anyways, let's get right into the question of the day. So today's question of the day is going to be about Black Ops 4. And this question is, what map on disc in Black Ops 4 is going to be the best? There's three maps that they're launching with zombies. And there's nine, there is the Titanic map, and then there is Blood of the Dead. So make sure to go to the top right right now, click on your little I, and vote on the question of the day. And then once you vote, tell me in the comments below what you put for the question of the day. But that's about it, and let's get right into the trick questions. So the answer to the last trick question is envelope good job to cloud nine for this right thank you so much for participating it definitely means a lot make sure to go check them out tell me sound and send me i mean that's about it for that trick question and let's get right into the next one so this next trick question is what has one head one foot and four legs i have done this one before and if you do remember this then you're definitely oh gee when he's asked it for that, make sure to go answer that down below. And if you're the first person to get that right, then you comment will be pinned and you will get a shot next video. We only get one shot up per week. But that's about it. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy. Please like, comment, and subscribe to become part of the ninja team today. Because don't be a ninja, you'll be silent. And I'm called Silent Eye. But that's about it. Peace out to my newest video. Have a great day. Cause I gotta stay